Hi friends, so in this video we are going to continue the same topic process structure and function. So in this topic, so these are the two major uh, concepts. One is the instruction cycle and the indirect cycle. So we already discussed in the uh, previous topics in the topic uh, chapters number two and three. So we have discussed about instruction cycle and the indirect cycle also. So when this indirect cycle is required and when the interrupt cycle is required. So with the basic instruction cycle only two sub cycles are there. One is a fetch cycle and second one is the execute cycle. But during the execution uh, the processor identifies or the operating system identifies if the instruction uses the indirect addressing modes. So if the indirect addressing modes are there with the instruction, so this indirect phase will be added with the basic instruction cycle. So uh, why this indirect phase is added? So the indirect addressing modes are indirect memory addressing modes are added in the instruction cycle means it may request more uh, memory referral that is a memory access or additional memory access are required. So for that this indirect phase has been added with the this basic instruction cycle. So already we may know about what will happen for the uh, interrupt if the end of the execution if any interrupt comes automatically interrupt service routine will be added in the basic uh, basic instruction cycle. So this particular phase will be added. So this is all about instruction cycle and the indirect cycle. So always the indirect cycle will gives more uh, amount of time during the operand fetch so because it you it refers more uh, memory uh, locations because of that the execution time will be expanded so the efficiency will be goes down so this is all about instruction cycle and the uh, indirect cycle thank you